Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Avery and welcome back to another Storytime video. Not even gonna lie to you, I usually hate the way my voice sounds, but, because I sound really nasally, but these halls mints got me acting unwise. Loki might have to pop one before I re-recording. But, yeah, my bad for the, the delayed and fucking shitty upload schedule that I cannot keep a schedule to save my life. I don't know why, I just end up looking at my computer saying I'll do it later, and then not end up doing it later. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing these things. Like, I enjoy doing YouTube and stuff for my small-ass 40 subs. But at the same time, it's still just like, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I will try to upload more, though, because I know there is that small percentage of people that actually enjoy my videos, like, a lot, and expect uploads. So, yeah, that keeps me going. And my bad if you hear my loud ass keyboard or random mouse clicks in the background. I'm playing at a random ass desk that I found in this room. I'm not home right now. And it's probably why I haven't recorded in a minute. But hey, I'll do with what I have to do with it. Everything here is compact, so you're going to hear every little noise. Just warning. But if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to drop me a like, comment, and sub. It's always appreciated. Turn on the noti bell if you want to see when I upload next. And the link in the description for the Discord is always there. Yeah, join. Start up a story. Start up a conversation. Whatever you want. I meant send this story, but my stuttering ass had to repeat that a bunch of times, so uh, I'm keeping that in there. But without wasting any more time, let's get right into the story. This one takes place actually pretty recently, only last year, ninth grade, which is, oh wow, I'm a child, that's crazy. But um, it wasn't too far back, which is kind of weird to think about because I completely forgot about this happening up until recent. Like I was having one of them late 3 a.m. discussions with my boys, and I was just like, yo, you remember that one time this happened? And they was like, yeah, you remember that one time? And then I was like, wait, you remember that one time? And then this came to mind which was the most brain dead shit to ever happen. Well, I say that about a lot of things, but you, you get the gist. Cause it started as a completely normal day. Just me heading to school, doing my stupid things that I do, which is stupid things. Then go to lunch, do some more stupid things, go to class, do some more stupid things as per usual. And then end off the day with some stupid things. But it wasn't only until the end of the day that shit really kicked off. Cause I was like, yo, you know what? I'm kind of hungry. You guys trying to get pizza? Everybody agreed. So we went out to get pizza. In my school, my high school is a three-story building or four-story, I cannot remember, but there's two different high schools and a middle school and I think an elementary school, if not they're both combined. But this other high school above us is practically the downgraded version of us, which is kind of fucked up to say, but it's basically where you get sent automatically from my middle school if you don't apply to any other school. And plus, I live in New York where stupid shit happens all the time and it's just normal like literally like 40 minutes ago my friend texted me that his train got delayed because somebody jumped on the tracks and wanted to uh game end themselves and he was like you know what it's slowing down our day let that man be roadkill and if that doesn't show that my friend is a psychopath i mean new york isn't normal then i don't know what will this place is a cursed atrocity decrepit jungle concrete of a city but before I get off track you get the point that these people are the most cursed people that you can possibly ever meet and that'd be fine, because we barely have any interactions other than in the hallways, like going up and down the stairs. And we never have any issues. I mean, there's stuff every now and then, but nothing that I've ever really been through. Up until this one day, because as we were going to get pizza, walking down the block, this group of like six dudes walks past us. And one of these dickheads in the buffooneries of his act decides to shoulder bump the shit out of my friend. Like, bro, he almost got knocked over. So my friend Jonathan, the one that got shoulder checked, turned around and was like, dude, what the hell? You, you, like, he got bumped hard. And that wasn't even a bump. That was a push. Like, his umbrella fell out of his hand and everything. It was raining that day. So the dude turns around and instantly starts cursing out Jonathan. He's calling him a piece of shit, saying, what is he going to do about it? You're a pussy. You're a bitch. You're not going to do anything. Oh, I. Right, what you doing, though? What you doing, though? It was the most... Oh, my God. That wasn't even me stuttering. That was just me at a loss for words of how brain dead it was. And the entire time, this dude's friends, like five of them, they're just behind him telling him, yo, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, dog. Come on, back up. It's not worth it. Keep in mind, this dude isn't like the 12th grade. He is like 18 or 19 trying to flex on a bunch of 15-year-olds. It was sad. And then right after, my other friend Taj is just like, dog, that was unnecessary. And they were like, there was no need to do that. Pissed him off even more. He started cursing out him even more. Then he looked at me. Keep in mind, at this time, I'm like 5'8". 120 pounds 130 pounds it, i was skinny i was small these dudes are like six foot five 200 pounds like they they played sports so there was no way in west bibblefuck that i'm fighting any of these dudes so i stay quiet of course because i have a brain <laughs> no no there's no way in hell that i'm contesting any of these dudes because i'm just gonna get stomped out right there on the spot like a bug but i didn't just run away and just leave my friends to deal with them i just stood there just in case anything did happen and after a while, we just stopped responding, 
and the dude got bored of antagonizing a bunch of 15 year olds and left with all of his friends behind him of course his, his goons his lackeys and we walk away to go continue getting our pizza because we're starving and we all just look at each other like did we really just almost get jumped by a bunch of 19 year olds when they shoulder checked us i didn't say this before and i'm way too lazy to re-record but after a while his friends started low-key getting on us too like they were all just like yo walk away yo don't don't even walk away yo yo don't even walk away like repeatedly and it was just kind of like damn this is this is really happening but it ended there luckily we got our pizza went home and just reflected on it just like it, it's, it's aids what happened is just aids but yeah we're good and uh moral of the story is don't jump 15 year olds it's, it just don't be a dickhead or menace to society don't listen to young boy uh, don't wear black forces, um, tie your laces, yeah, just all that. Because I'm telling you, all of them did none of those. None of it. Absolute villains right there. But that was just another day in the life of your boy, uh, yeah, me. Uh, okay, I promise to never say that again. That was beyond cringe, but if you sticked around to the end, thank you. Uh, yeah, hey, what's up? Have you sent this video to a friend yet? You, they, they gotta see the moral of the story. But really, thank you guys if you stick around to the end. Uh, drop a like, comment, and sub. It's always appreciated. Link in the description for the Discord. Drop your stories in the story chat. Start up a conversation in general. Whatever. And hit the post notification bell so you can see when I upload next. And, uh, yeah. Have a blessed night, y'all.